So what is the bottom line for Ohio's economic future? Joining us now is Christine Poon, Dean of the Fisher College of Business at The Ohio State University. She spent 30 years in the healthcare industry, most recently as vice chairman and member of the board of Johnson & Johnson and worldwide chair of the pharmaceuticals group. Mrs. Poon, we appreciate you joining us. And uh, let's start off with our show, Ohio Means Business. We're so excited, our partnership with Fisher and Ohio State Thank University. You. Uh, today's topic is alternative energy. That's the widget of the day, but we will explore many more widgets in the shows to come. Uh, is now the time, in the wake of this recession, as we look for forward to the next couple of years, is this the time to invest and is this the time to shape Ohio as far as the business side of things? You know, one thing about business that never changes is, despite the economy, is the importance of innovation and talent to businesses. And what's really special about this show is really the integration of businesses, the university, the community, the government here in Ohio to really drive this wonderful economic environment. Um, we've seen through through the um, through the uh, news. Um, pictures and cast here, this wonderful faculty, researchers and innovation. We've seen how companies um, can access that innovation, but more importantly, what we see are students, um, whether they're engineers, mathematicians, business students, a very special way that not only does Ohio State University educate our students through the classroom, but Nanotech West, for example, an opportunity for students and faculty and businesses to come together in this center and really both learn, innovate, and experiment. And so it's, a, it's an exciting time, I think, for, for Ohio. You've certainly put your years in, in the corporate world at Johnson & Johnson and now at, uh, at the Fisher Business School. And in a sense, you're the CEO of another business. What kind of uh, the importance, the collaboration between the university and these companies, how is it advantageous? Oh, you know, I just spoke about one of the opportunities for the students to actually, while they're going to, to school here, actually um, uh, being able to participate in what we call action-based learning or experiential learning. So they actually come from the classrooms, come in to a project that is usually hosted or fielded by a company here in Ohio, and students actually work on teams in real life helping to solve problems and, and issues for that company. I can't think of a better learning experience for the students and also for the companies to have access to these bright, creative, brilliant students. Uh, you're specifically at Fisher, your approach uh, to educating a student, what kind of student comes out of uh, Fisher Business School? What's your goal? Boy, you know, my goal is um, to graduate students who really care about the industries that they're going to go into. I am not a believer that you can graduate with a degree and it doesn't matter what you do with that degree. I think it matters. And if you have a passion for energy or health care or um, social philanthropy, that will make a big difference in how you apply your degree. So I'm all about engaging and getting people excited about the industries that they want to go into. Um, also, values and ethics, a major, major uh, part of what I want uh, uh, to do at Fisher. Good message. Christine Poon, Dean of Fisher Business College at The Ohio State University. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate you uh, being a part of our Thank very you. first show. Many more uh, great shows to come.